guys, Perry here. So you have gotten a taste of pretty much everybody's top five movies of 2017, but we can't wrap up the year without talking about the ones that came out that we didn't like. But you know what? I'm feeling pretty good about it because I feel some positivity over my shoulder right now. So let's just jump into it, rip that Band-Aid off, get this over with our least favorite movies of 2017. What is this? You know what? You might know what this is if you looked at the schedule. Also, you know it's where we meeting. discuss these things? Meetings. In meetings, right. where we plan stuff that but we make. But that's watch to watch. I'll still fucking nail this thing. What is it? So, Wendy, what's your, your least favorite movie of the year? I, mean, I don't know what I'm doing right now. Well, the movie I hated the most, and I wonder if this is on your list, or maybe it's got to be close. Transformers The Last Night. <laughs> Talk about, like, you know, driving nails with a hammer into your head. Watching that movie, you, you watch about 45 minutes of it, and you think you've been there for about two or three hours. But it's, and then you look at the watch, and you're like, "There's like another hour and a half of this." Transformers: The Last Night is not a good movie. It is not a good movie. I could rant about Transformers: The Last Night, but there is a new king of the Riley rant. The Mummy. The Mummy is the worst movie of 2017. This movie is so bad. There are empty offices on the Universal lot that people have to pay rent for. They're jumping off and trying, one, trying to create a shared universe without having that universe in their heads yet. They call it Dark Universe, and they're taking their cue from an old horror template, old horror stories. But they want to make action out of it, and they want to make it funny, and they want to make it, you know, accessible to a wide audience. And by doing that, they miss completely the horror elements that they're trying to set up. I mean, this thing is just begging to be made fun of and people are doing it. And here I am, I'm gonna be the ringleader, The Mummy. Worst movie of 2017, and it killed an entire shared universe like that. <laughs> I'm gonna ask you, Perry, what's the worst movie you saw this year? Oh, that's mighty kind of you to toss yeah. this to me now. I don't wanna answer it, so I'm gonna ask you to do it. I think my least favorite of the year has to be The Snowman, because oh. even though the Emoji Movie is a bad movie, and it, it kind of is the definition of taking something that's really hot right now and trying to make some money out of it, the Snowman is just a like a purely miserable watch. It's just dull, it's incoherent, the editing has some real issues, and you have talented people like Rebecca Ferguson who you used incorrectly in this movie. I was so unhappy in that movie and I loved that trailer. That trailer was so like chilling and eerie it and it promising. had a thrill yeah. to it. Yeah, like a horror quality. I mean, the character's name is Harry Hole. The character's name is Harry Hole. I don't know if that's like a weird English translation. I think the novel's Scandinavian. I feel like you're pur <laughs> purposely pronouncing it to play into that right now. Ladies and gentlemen, Michael Fassbender as Harry Hole. Brace yourselves for this one because this guy is in a mood right now. That's right. What is your worst movie of 2017? Power Rangers. No, I'm joking. No, the He's worst movie. He's doing that to mess with me. <laughs> Honestly, the worst movie of 2017 is a, is a number of ones that I could have thrown into this list and probably before I could have mentioned, but I think King Arthur, Legend of the Sword was the worst movie How for so many reasons. For so many reasons, because King Arthur is a, is a, is a character that I absolutely love. Excalibur is one of my favorite films ever made. And they've never been able to get the King Arthur story right, no matter how many times they attempt to do it. The great thing about King Arthur is the legend and the relationship, the love triangle, all the stuff that happened. And they took all those elements and the magic out of it. And even Merlin was really almost irrelevant in that movie and didn't really bring home what was really great about the legendary. <laughs> yeah, okay, right. Well, where's the Power Rangers thing? Anyway, they didn't bring it's out the legendary list. I thing. See your it is right there, King there. Arthur. Don't you no, see? No, no, no. I'm talking about read? Power Rangers. He's just messing with no, me. No, Power no, I know. No, no, but you're pointing list. at my Optimus Prime. You're really putting some thought into this. I one. had to because there's so many uh, bad movies that came out this year that I just did not go to see. You got Geostorm. You got the Emoji Movie, uh, Transformers Five, Six, whatever that was. King Arthur, The Mummy. I didn't see any of those films. Chips. Didn't go see it. One film that really was the most upsetting film that I saw that I actually walked out of the, like the last 15 minutes, didn't even see how it ended, Kingsman, The Golden Circle. Now that's me peeing in the snow is what I'd say, a giant golden circle around this number two dump of a movie. It was like, and I loved the first Kingsman. I thought it was a fantastic, amazing, uh, James Bond Jr. type of a film. It had Matthew Vaughn did such an amazing job with that film. 
that the Golden Circle, I didn't know, I felt like a different director. It was like somebody like making fun of the first film. Oh, well, that's an easy one. My least favorite movie, 2017, I'm just gonna lay down here real quick, smell your shoe, okay. My least favorite movie, 2017, was A Dog's Purpose, because why should a movie be about dogs dying? It's just a movie about dogs that die, and then they, and then one comes back, and then another one dies, and then it's like the human heart cannot take that kind of purpose from dogs. Dogs are, are actually here because of not to die, but they're here for you, the human. So I'm just gonna get a little bit more comfy here as I talk about this. So, Dog's Purpose, worst movie of 2017. Alicia, we need to yes. know your least favorite movie of the year and also what type of food you would classify it as. Okay, all right. I you understand. started it, yeah, not me. I understand why we're going there. Um, my least favorite movie of the year was, uh, well, the least favorite movie of the year that I saw was Pirates of the Caribbean, Dead Man's Chest. What? I was so bored. I don't know why we keep putting Johnny Depp in movies. And as far as a food, I would say it's probably like um, those like wax lip candies because it's definitely a candy movie, but a really bad candy movie that no one likes. So what would make this movie better? Is there anything? Ooh, um, or is it just a lost cause? Taking Johnny Depp out of it entirely. <laughs> You're just, just going right for out. it. You're just, just going there. We got to stop with Johnny Depp. We got to stop putting him in movies. Just let him be an old, sad has-been. <sighs> just saw Chips the other day. It wasn't good. Why? Because I wanted to be ready for this video, motherfuckers. Yeah, I knew what video was coming. Chips up in this bitch. That was worst. That or Chips. You figure it out, you fucks. You come out of a movie that you absolutely hate. Yes. What do you do to kind of get it out of your system and forget it? I'm really nervous right now. <laughs> All right, that's it. That is our worst movies of 2017. If you saw a movie that pissed you off this year, that is how you get it out of your system. You cleanse yourself, you go into 2018 with all the hope in the world. Bye.